Greetings. I'm Steve Hale from the first 10 minutes, and we're about to start a new game of The Witness, which is a puzzle game uh, that I enjoyed quite a lot uh, when I played it on PS4, I think it was, I played it through most of this. So, given that it's a puzzle game, I'm hoping that I will have forgotten a lot of how it works. And I'll kind of discover it afresh with you. Um, there are a few things that I know that I'm going to try, that I'm going to pretend I don't know uh, to try and push through this again. There's a lot in this game, so I'm sure I won't have crystal clear, clear memory of all of the kinds of puzzles I have to do. Uh, let's let's uh, let's hit this new game button and see what happens. Yes, we will start a new game, and we're in. Uh, so we may not need it for this first episode, but I am experimenting with using a Telestrator so I can do this kind of stuff. I've got to remember to use the right keys and things, so you have to excuse me while I get used to that. Uh, that'll become very useful in the very near future. So I am looking around with a mouse cursor, it seems. I'm walking around with arrow keys, or I can use a controller. I'm going to be using mouse and keyboard today. Get to run. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to unplug this controller so it stops giving me my uh, controller prompts. There we go. Left mouse interact, which puts me into this drawing mode. And I'm going to go... And lock it in to open that door. Uh, and that's how we're going to do most of the puzzles in this game. I'm going to lower that mouse, it's too deep. Tad high. Uh, da, 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 da. Settings. Controls. Mouse 3D speed. Let's try that. It's a bit better. Alrighty. It's a very pretty environment. Very, very pretty. Uh, some lovely consuming light baking of some sort. Only sort of um, visible poly uh, kind of environment in here. Perhaps it's meant to be just certain kind of rock formations. So again, we do less mouth. We engage puzzle mode with this white border around the side. Hit the end and we confirm. And we emerge in our lovely garden. And by some measure, we might argue that the tutorial is now over. Now I know I had to move. It knows I know how to turn. It knows I know how to puzzle. Uh, and we're off and racing now. I really enjoy the uh, kind of stripped down art style that's in use here. That's speckling. I thought there was a spill on there. Some sort of wire. Come back to that one. All right, let's have a look what we're, uh, we're in some sort of courtyard and like a castle of some kind. Sort of like a brush stroke looking effect on the sky, which is very nice. A bit of crepuscular. It's a nice baked, kind of bounced light. I don't remember if time of day changes in this game. It doesn't, that was probably uh, quite handy. Game made by uh, Jonathan Blow and Co. I don't know if they actually even have a studio name. Whoa, this one's looking confusing. Let me see if I can find that one up there. Is the one that we saw when we first walked out. So let's start with that, shall we? So there's a big gate here. It's a force field thing. Uh, panel that we can't use because there are things in the way yet. So if we try and do this, yeah, we can't actually move past those panels. So we can't solve it. So we'll leave that puzzle. Grass. Quite nice. Alright, so. Uh, cool. So let's just try and get to this exit, I guess. Exit being sort of the curved end. Slid up. Alright, that means I probably need to follow it. There it is. 
All right, so our exit's up here. Uh, looks like we can do this. There we are. It's going up there. Can I? Yep. Oh boy. Uh, over here. So let's backtrack. Let's do the normal maze thing. Come back down here. Round, round, round. Up down there. Okay. Press on the bottom. Up here. I don't know if there's only one way through that or not. Looks like there might even be... Oh, it looks like they could do... A slightly different way in the middle there. Interesting. But not at the top. Only our wire. Oh, let's open part of it. Okay. Let's follow the others we haven't opened then yet. Where are you going? Ooh, I can walk in. Oh, it's dry. I have a shadow. Goes over there. That's where it came from. There we go. Goes up there. I don't know how to get out there. Uh, this is much more difficult to deduce when it's just the uh, the cross joints that aren't visible. Oh, there's two of them. There's two exits. That's... What has that done? Has that done... I don't know. This one's got two starts. Uh, I guess we just figure out which one of these we can get to. Oh, my brain. All right. We got it. We got it. We worked backwards. There we go. That's that one. Okay. So I think this one, we just need to use the other exit maybe. I don't know what it does. Something outside, apparently. Let's come back and figure that out later. Uh, okay. So... So instead of taking that exit, we just keep going. I think. Yes. We're out. I think we can leave this area now. I think we did it. We just open this gate, and then maybe go back and flip that the other way. So we can try and see where that goes, perhaps. Right. I don't know if this matters. Seems not. But we're out. Out here. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's go back and reverse that puzzle so we stumble upon it later. It's already powered, so I assume I can do that now. I assume that now I can just change this. See, I can't like back it up rather than resolving it. So I can do that. Okay. I'm sure it's doing something. I think that's a safe assumption. Okay. Nice red bush over there. I want to go look at. Kind of a little nook here. Oh, hey. What have we got up here? There's something over there. Not sure, like a tape recorder? I wonder if I can walk along this um, edge here. Nope, it won't let me walk off. Hey there. Aha! I am standing on the threshold about to enter a room. It is a complicated business. In the first place, Ooh. I must shove against an atmosphere pressing with a force of 14 pounds on every square inch of my body. I must make sure of landing on a plank, traveling at 20 miles a second around the sun. A fraction of a second too early or too late, the plank would be miles away. I must do this 
whilst hanging from a round planet head outward into space and with a wind of ether blowing at no one knows how many miles a second through every interstice of my body. The plank has no solidity of substance. To step on it is like stepping on a swarm of flies. Shall I not slip through? No. If I make the venture, one of the flies hits me and gives me a boost up again. I fall again and am knocked upwards by another fly, and so on. I may hope that the net result will be that I remain about steady, but if, unfortunately, I should slip through the floor or be boosted too violently up to the ceiling, the occurrence would be not a violation of the laws of nature, but a rare coincidence. These are some of the minor difficulties. I ought really to look at the problem four-dimensionally as concerning the intersection of my world line with that of the plank. Then again, it is necessary to determine in which direction the entropy of the world is increasing in order to make sure that my passage of the threshold is an entrance, not an exit. Ah, good. Verily, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a scientific man to pass through a door. And whether the door be barn door or church door, it might be wiser that he should consent to be an ordinary man and walk in, rather than wait till all the difficulties involved in a really scientific ingress are resolved. Arthur Eddington, 1927. Okay, Found another one. Bloop. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for but never finding the builder of this house. We are going to come over here, spot that. So the other way around. Lovely water reflections. Can't jump down there. Um, okay. Which? So over there. That's where the power goes. Okay. Let's see if we can follow that round. Honestly, it's just a pleasure to have a video game where I can't walk off the edge into oblivion. So I can't fall off here. It's like, no, there's no mechanical reason for you to do that. So you don't. Lovely. Just a way of getting around. Oh, okay. Uh, it's got dots on it. It's like one of those optical illusions where you stare in the middle and you can't see the dots anymore. Uh, well, that's not right. So. I don't know for sure yet. But I'm guessing that I need to touch all of these. Hey. Nice little lookout. This game is very, very pretty. Very nice place to just walk around in. Uh, which is good, because it's going to be a lot of that. Well, I'm assuming what I did was right, but now this is different. Um, uh, what we got? We can't do that, because we can't get that one back again. We can't do that, because we can't get there. We did... Oh, yes. What do I get? Uh, 
No. It's kind of just a way of getting around the back of that building. Maybe that'll be useful for something later. I'm not sure. Interesting. Twisty tree. So, what have we got up here? There's some more puzzle. There's some sort of bunker here. I can't jump down. There we go. I figured the dot, oh, there's multiple starting spots and dots and colored blocks, like black and white blocks. I think we'll come back to that. I don't know what those do yet. Um, but clearly I get the sense that the, uh, the grid line puzzle thing is gonna escalate. Uh, and it kind of just makes sense up front that, um, the line can't double back on itself. You can only draw what you can see. I'm going to kind of get musings on a theme. Oh, these might... Yeah. Ooh, my ambient cut out. Walk in here and I get... Just silence to work in. Uh, so this is a puzzle series. It's going to teach me how this works. Gotcha. I can actually just hold left and right here to go between available puzzles, which is excellent. Right, so not good. Those need to something. Middle. Okay. So I think we got it. Oh, too eager. Okay, so I need to separate. Uh, oh. Uh, the different sort of the go style stones from each other. That one doesn't have anything. Does it need to be included or not? Apparently it's fine. Um, yeah, we're okay. Then we go up here. Isolate that. Cool. Uh, we can't go that way because we're cut off. So I have to go up first. Can we do this? So we're going to have all of the... the white ones in the shape, whereas before I was kind of keeping the white ones outside of the shape. Yes, we can. And then we're free. All right. So the rule there is you have to separate these, the colors, they can't uh, be touching. They have to separate by my line. I saw some, some green TVs in here. Let's go to check those out. I don't know any of these tree names, but they look like a, a kind of tree I've seen, despite them being, uh, Really low fidelity. They look very nice. It's like CRTs. Um, so these are the one I kind of guessed before, I think, where I just have to touch all of the things. I don't know if there's any of the rules, then touch all the things. Uh, nope. Nope. There we are. Oh. Nope. 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 So frustrating. Uh, no. Uh, this, that'll do it. There we go. Got it. All right. Multi-start ones are tough. See more puzzles up there. In the, uh, the fuchsias. Let's head to the fuchsias, check it out. See what's going on. Oh, there's more stuff that way too. 
How can I resist these delicious pinks? These pinks and yellows. Ooh, trees. Trees and trees. These are linked together somehow. I know how to follow those. Does it matter? Oh, hang on. Is that tree? This? Yeah, I think it is. So, presumably it's the apple, which is um, this one. Whoa. All right, so we know that uh, symbols align and there can be cl clues in the environment, I guess. Not even really clues, they're kind of just answers, aren't they? I see an apple there. It's probably... I was missing a branch on that side, so that's uh, this side. Uh, so it's left, right, left. Left, right, left. Hmm. Left, right, right, left. Is that not what? I did? Oh. Do I have to... Left, right, right, left. Did I just... Oh, I just messed it up last time. That's my, that's my bad. I think I said the right thing and then press the wrong buttons. Where's me apple? There's an apple. Oh boy. Um, this one's all gnarled. I wonder which way I need to look at it from. This way? Or this way? I would assume it's this way. And that would be left, right, 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 left, right, right, right. Hey, good on us. Chase this down. Where are we going? I kind of don't stop to just enjoy how pretty this is, though, because I'm just chasing this line around. That's 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 my my choice, I guess. This one's mirrored. I need to look at it from the other side because the broken branch um, here is on the other side. So that means it's right, left, left, right. Right, left, left. Oh, oh dear. No apple, but... Lots of broken... branches. I guess... Uh... Okay. We got... Alright, I'm trying my, I think. We got one... Two, three. So if there's one broken here, then that must have been where the apple was. Let's go check. That would be this one. So that's uh, right, left, right, left. Let's try that. Right, left, right, left. Yeah! Uh, 
have that apple? No. Oh, that's the the branch that they took. Nice knife. There's some nice bonsais. Did that just open this gate? Is that what it did? Hard to see. Where it goes, maybe it just disappears in there. Originally this gate wasn't open before, I'm not sure though. taken over kind of thing. The village over there, a big bell. Giant letter A. Okay. I think that's this area. This lovely pink area done. This is an ominous totem, or like ring of tires. Maybe like a buzzing noise. Hmm. Something down there. Because uh, there's ruins over there. Shed down there. I guess we try here? What are these? Oh, they're connected to something. Looks like there will be a puzzle here. Alright, I guess on our, uh, our next episode we'll follow this line, see where it leads. Where it leads. Uh, thanks for joining me as we uncover, in our future episodes, more of the puzzles of the witness. Uh, I've been Steve, hope you've enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.